hey what's up guys david here from dignited today i want to show you how to set up private dns for your android phone and some of the top private dns servers you can use all right let's get into it all right dns stands for domain name service now dns can be used to translate human friendly website names such as youtube.com to as something that computers understand which are ip addresses or internet protocol addresses let me show you how to set up a dns server on your android phone now the thing about android phones is that there are plenty of them and all of them have different uis and themes and skins and so forth so it is not clear cut like iphone and i'm just going to give you a general way of how to set it up on your android phone i'm going to be using my oneplus for demo purposes right all right to set up dns on the oneplus if you have one simply go to settings here right and then come to connection and sharing here and then you can see tap on private dns now if you don't have a oneplus i simply go to your settings and then under search here type in dns dns right that should show some results which hopefully should show private dns yeah so i have three options here I have off i have auto in which case it automatically just gets the dns for me and then i have specified dns now this is what you want to tap on and right here tap on it and uh simply enter the dns host name that you want now you can either use the ip address of the dns server uh which are just numbers or you can use the host name you can use alphanumeric characters here to enter for example dns.google right so to enter google's dns enter 8.8.8.8 right here or you can enter dns.google here yeah it is that simple by default your android phone is going to automatically pick up dns settings from your wi-fi router or switch and there's basically nothing that you need to do it's all automatic but setting it up by yourself and choosing a private dns server will help speed up your internet connection by default your phone is going to pick up probably your isp or internet service providers dns which may not be that fast so if you chose something like the google dns for example that could speed up your internet connection secondly you have the benefit of privacy and security when you set a custom dns server right so uh, for example some dns servers uh, support something called dns over tls or dns over https and what this means is that the dns queries are encrypted and therefore uh, any snooping eyes cannot intercept your dns queries and hack your system also some dns servers specialize in blocking malicious adware and spyware this is really great for your privacy and security and then some specialize in blocking certain content this could come in handy for example in a family setting where you want to block certain adult content for example all right so uh the number of uh, dns providers and servers that uh, i can mention here i'm going to share the full list as a screenshot here but the biggest names in the game is google definitely which has a public dns server 8.8.8 .8 has .8 a primary address and the secondary address is 8.8.4.4 .8 now you don't need a secondary address here because there's no field for it on your android phone the other big name is cloudflare with its 1.1.1 .1 .1. uh, the other guys is uh, quad 9 9.9.9 .9 and then you also have free dns right there you have safe dns you have ad guard now this is great if you want to block malicious ads can use adguard and its ip address is right there the others you have yandex dns this is from russia and then you have cyber ghost right there you have open dns which is also a very big name safe serve which is also right there so i'm just going to share the full list with you uh so that you can experiment and choose which one will work for you 
All right, guys, that's been how to set up private DNS server for your Android phone. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you have any suggestions or any recommendations for the viewers, uh, let me know in the comments below as well. Otherwise, if you liked this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.